question 3. Now you are given a tri uh, triangle PQR such that this ratio PT and TR is 4 to 1. QS to SR is 3 to 1. You are asked to find the ratio of QM is to MT. And you are asked to use vectors to prove to show this uh, to find this ratio. Now let's call vector QP A and this one QR as B. Now and the ratio of QM to QT be one is to lambda and PM to MS as 1 is to mu. Now, if we can find Q using this triangle here, we can find QT in terms of a and B using ratio theorem. And from ratio theorem, uh, or rather QM is lies in the straight line as QT. So you can express QM in terms of A and B using uh, QPR. Now, you also can express QM using triangle P and S in terms of A and B using ratio theorem as well. And then if you do a comparison, uh, you should be able to find mu and lambda. Okay, let's, let's move on. Now let's find QM in terms of A and B using triangle PQS. Okay, so triangle PQS. So QM is equals to mu times A plus mu times a plus 1 times qs. But what is qs? Now qs is 3 quarter of qr. So this will be 3 quarter of b. Because Q, we let Q, qr be b. Okay. Over 1 plus mu. Okay, that is ratio theorem. Now, let's look at triangle PQR. For triangle PQR, QT is equals to One times A plus four times B over five. Now, so what is QM? We have found QT in terms of A and B, we need to find QM. Now by proportionality, QM will be equal to 1 over 1 plus lambda times A plus 1 times B. 
plus 4b over 5. Alright, Qm is, this portion is 1, this is 1 plus lambda. So Qm is 1 over 1 plus lambda times Qt. Now let's call this star and this one as double star. Now, by comparing the components of A and B, Now let's do A first, the components of A. Alright, so QM over here is mu over 1 plus mu. Now this portion will be 1 over 1 plus lambda. Now let's compare B. Component B. Now, so B will be, here will be 3 quarter times 1 over times 1 plus mu times 1 over 1 plus mu, I mean, will be equals to 1 over 1 plus lambda into 4 fifth. Alright, that is comparing the components of B. Now let's call this 1 and we call this 2. Now this is a simultaneous equation. Okay, we can solve this simultaneous equation. Now, one quick way, by looking at it, one quick way of doing is you use 1 divided by 2. You use 1 divided by 2, you will eliminate your lambda because these two can cancel. And you will eliminate your 1 plus mu because you've got 1 plus mu here and 1 plus mu here. Right, so you use 1 divided by 2. What will you get? You flip this and you turn around this. So you multiply your 1 over mu will be cancelled away. So you will be left with 4 over 3 mu. How about here? You, this one you flip. Flip and then you multiply by this. Your 1 plus lambda will be cancelled away. And then your 5 will be cancelled away. But because this is flipped, so this side will be left with 1 quarter. Alright, then mu will be 3 out of 16. Then you substitute this into, uh, mu is 3 out of 16. You substitute into A. You substitute into A into 1, sorry, into 1. To find what is lambda. Okay, you have 3 out of 16 over 1 plus 3 out of 16 will be equals to 1 over 1 plus lambda times a fifth. Here will be 19 out of 16. Alright. So you will have 3 over 19 equals to 1 over 5 plus 5 lambda. Now if you do a cross multiply, you will have 15 plus 15 lambda equals to 19. So what will you get? You will get lambda equals to 
4 over 15. So what is the ratio? So QM is to MT will be equals to 1 is to 4 out of 15 will be equals to 15 is to 4. Okay, for that we come to the end of this presentation.